Hey, what's up guys, it's Jason from JZ Media. Today we're gonna talk about how to make the most out of the activity app on your Apple Watch. On the first day when I got my Apple Watch, I was a little confused on the activity app. Like how the rings work, what each color represents, what the rings matter and how does it matter them. After I use it for a couple weeks, I think I have a better understanding of how the app works in general. If you ever used other activity trackers before, it should be an easy and natural transition for you. So today's video is to answer some of the common questions people may have on the app and to show you how to interact with the app to achieve your health goal. Before getting into any details, understanding the terminology this app uses is the key. Because they may be different than activity tracker you understand before. So what does each color represent? The red ring is the move ring. It tracks your motion and measured in active calories, which is monitored through heart rate monitor. Apple breaks out resting calories and active calories. Resting calories are the calories you burn by just living, breathing, and being a human. An Apple Watch doesn't track that, like most of the fitness trackers. So if your calories seem lower on Apple Watch, this is why. The green ring is the exercise ring. To determine exercise, Apple Watch looks at your heart rate and movement data. That means the things you do on a regular basis, like getting up and walking around your office, or taking a dog or walk, probably won't raise your heart rate enough for the Apple Watch to deem it as exercise. Getting your heart pump is a key. And the goal here is to encourage you to be more active, maybe doing some cardio or lifting some weight. The blue ring is the stand ring. The most confusing concept here is a misleading name. The ring is not meant to track accumulated time you stand, but inside it shows the hours in which you've stood and moved for at least a minute. And the best thing is the Apple Watch will even alert you 10 minutes before the hour. The goal here is really to help you avoid being still for too long and encourage moving every hour. So what are the goals? In other words, how do you close the rings? The goal is initially set up when you set up the Apple Watch for the first time. You'll be asked to put in your weight, height, and active level, which triggers the algorithm to estimate your goal automatically. So basically, the move goal is how much calories you should burn. The exercise goal is to pump your heart over your average for 30 minutes a day. And the stand goal is to stand and move for at least a minute for 12 hours in a day. What if the goal is not really suited to your body? What if your activity level is significantly higher or lower than other people with similar body stats? You may not feel challenged because you close the rings multiple times a day. Or you may feel discouraged because your rings barely move through the day. Now this is my favorite part about Apple Watch. It's designed to learn from your habits and adapt the goals as you use it. So give it a little time. It'll prompt you with the new goals that's tailored to you. So overall, I like the features on Apple Watch to keep you motivated on improving your health. When you get better, your goal gets harder. And that's all I have for the activity app. Leave a comment below on what you like the most about the fitness feature. Any tricks you find out, or in general, what you like most about Apple Watch. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week.